did you get final approval from the director? Congratulations. Earlier, we saw that translation and scaling don't commute. Let's see if we can get a better understanding of what's going on using some algebra. Suppose we translate by an amount of 5 in x and 3 in y. Pick a point, x0, y0, in the image we're translating. That point goes to a point x1, y1, given by x1 equals x0 plus 5, y1 equals y0 plus 3. Now, suppose we scale about the origin by a factor of 4. Where does x1, y1 go? Let's call the point it goes to x2, y2. Scaling says x2 equals 4 times x1, and y2 equals 4 times y1. Substitute our expressions for x1 and y1. x2 equals 4 times x0 plus 5, which equals 4 times x0 plus 4 times 5, which equals 4 times x0 plus 20. And y2 is equal to 4 times y0 plus 3, which equals 4 times y0 plus 12. This factor in front of x and y is 4, so the effective scale factor is still 4. However, the effective translation amount is 20 in x and 12 in y. For comparison, let's do the operations in the opposite order. Scale first, that is. x1 equals 4 times x0 and y1 equals 4 times y0. Then translate. So algebraically, x2 equals x1 plus 5, which equals 4 times x0 plus 5. And y2 equals y1 plus 3, which equals 4 times y0 plus 3. Clearly, the blue equations aren't the same as the red equations. But in either case, we can write the result of combining scaling and translation in the form x2 equals s times x0 plus tx and y2 equals s times y0 plus ty. Where tx stands for the effective, or final, translation amount in x and ty is the effective translation amount in y. When two or more transformations are combined, we call it a composite transformation. In the next exercise, you'll be asked to verify that this general form for a composite transformation consisting of scales and translations always holds. No matter how many scales and translations are combined, and no matter what the order.